it's Kristen from the Crafty Kitchen and today I'm here with a video because this week I saw a video on Mary's blog at Cards TV and she had made a mini album using toilet paper rolls and I thought it was so neat that I wanted to try to make it myself. So here I'll do a, a quick little run through of how I did it but here's how it turned out in the end. I'll go through each page but it says boo on the outside. Now to do these the first thing you need is a toilet paper roll. Now I learned while doing this that toilet paper rolls come in all sorts of sizes and widths. Um, the ones I ended up using came from, they're the double rolls of toilet paper, um, so they're wider. This is like from a regular roll and this is from the double roll. And so when you flatten these out, I ran them through my cuddle bug. Um, I did the sandwich of A plate, B plate, toilet paper roll, then C plate, and ran them through back and forth three or four times till they're finally flat. Um, these ended up being four and a quarter inches long. All the all of them rolled out were. So I ha I took four. I, I left one at four and a quarter. I cut one at three and three quarters, one at three and a quarter, and one at two and three quarters. So they'll layer up like this. Okay. So once I did that, I picked my papers. My papers are all from Die Cuts with a View, Midnight Spell. Um, I love this paper. I really want to get a second set of it because I use it so much, but I'm having a really hard, this is the, the only time I've ever seen it is when I bought this matte stack. I haven't seen the pattern paper again. I see the glitter paper, but I, I never see the pattern paper. So if you're in Joann's and you see it, you should snag that up because it's so, so cool. Okay, so let's walk through my book here. I have some ribbons on the side. I, I don't have a cinch or a bind at all. Although after doing this, I've become a little obsessed with these little albums, so I may have to get one. But I just used my my crocodile on the three sixteenth punch, and then I used some eyelets and set the eyelets using the crocodile also. So the first page has the B on it, and I cut these letters from um, they're actually from the birthday cakes cartridge. I wanted um, kind of like a blocky kitty looking font, and I don't have Hello Kitty or Mickey Mouse. So this is all I had, but the font is actually really cute. There's some really cute images on this cartridge. I've never used it before on paper. I've only used it on cakes. So it was kind of a nice surprise. And I cut all of the letters <clears throat> to be uh, two and seven eighths inches long. It'd fit to length. So they'd fit the length of um, each of my papers. And then I actually cut them out three times. I glued them together and then I heat embossed them with some clear black embossing or clear embossing powder and I added some black glitter. So they're kind of shiny and they're kind of hard. So let's go through my book. You flip this open and your first page, you can put a little photo here and there's a little bat brad holding it together and you move it and there's a little, I embossed using white embossing powder, um, a little spider that says eek. Over here, uh, this is the O. This is a pocket you can put a photo in here. The pumpkins came from Cricut Cake Holiday Cakes. So there's some great Halloween images in here that I didn't even know about. And I cut the pumpkins at fit to length three and a quarter inch so they'd go all the way across. And then I just glued the bottom, but the top is open so you can slide in a photo. This is my favorite. Let's see if I can try to get it all in the frame here. Okay, the fence is from Happy Hauntings. And I cut this fence at three and a quarter inches at fit to length. I cut this fence at three and three quarter inches at fit to length. I cut them twice and layered them so they'd give some, um, it'd be a little bit thicker. And then on the other side of the fence, I have little tombstones. And the tombstones are actually from haunt Happy Hauntings as well. And they're tags. I don't know if you can see that. But I did not know that Happy Hauntings has has two little gravestone tags. So I cut the little tags at two inches. Um, I stuck little brads in the holes. And then this is uh, one of the layers of the tags. It's on vampire font and, sp and spooky font. This is yellow glitter paper and this was purple paper that I then used purple stickles. So there's two in each little fence. So there's four tags there for journaling or whatever. 
Okay, this page has a little spider brad right there at the top, and you can put a photo here. You, it moves, and this I got at the dollar bin. I embossed in black embossing powder. It says Scaredy Cat. And my big thing about this album was I wanted to make sure that there was plenty of space to put pictures because they're so small. I mean, they're very, very small, but they're very cute. So I wanted to make sure I could put pictures. So I kind of made a little accordion fold, Velcros, right there. It comes out. You can put two pictures on this side. You can put three pictures on this side. And then it closes right back up in Velcros. And there's the exclamation point. The exclamation point, I actually cut a little bit bigger than the letters um, because it was just too small. And I had to angle it out sideways so you could see it when you closed it. And then on the back, it says Happy Halloween. And that is also from the Cricket Cake Holiday Cakes cartridge. Isn't that so cute? And I did fit to length four inches on that. And I cut a shadow and the letters all out of the Midnight Spell glitter paper. Now, I've, one other thing on each page, the reason you use toilet paper rolls is that there's a little pocket inside each page. And so each page has its own tag. So here's the first tag. I cut each tag to fit the length of the toilet paper roll. Uh, the, this is dry embossed using a Sizzix embossing folder. It came in a set of four. There were three little tiny ones like this, and there's one big haunted house one. And I got it at a local scrapbooking store. And then I inked the tag using um, Tim Holtz Distress inks in Spiced Marmalade and Dusty Concord. thought that turned out really neat. The second tag I embossed uh, heat embossed. These are two stamps from the uh, Martha Stewart. She came out with two sets of these clear stamps at the end of the summer. I want to say it was like August. And I, there was like a spooky one and like a cutesy one. And I only bought the spooky one and I was going to go back and buy the cutesy one and I haven't seen them since. So this is from the spooky one. And it has a spider web in the corner and a spider hanging from the top and that is dry or heat embossed with black embossing powder as well and I distressed inked both sides. The third tag is inked using Dusty Concord and then Black Soot which I found at Hobby Lobby and then I dry embossed it with my cuddle bug and this is another one of the fold little folders that came with the Sizzix set and it's bats. I used it twice. And then the last one I heat embossed using black embossing powder. And these are all stamps from that Martha Stewart set too. I have two ravens, the fence, and then the bat. The bat got a little smudgy. But I think it looks kind of neat because since the tag is distressed, like it, having the embossing a little bit smudge kind of goes with the distressed feel, I guess. And you could put pictures on the backs of all of these or journal on the backs of all of these. So it just adds a lot more space. And here's the stamp set that those stamps came from. It's Martha Stewart and it's really really neat. There's bats and spiders, there's blood droplets. Um, I love the little candelabra and chandelier. That's actually one of the main reasons I bought it because I love these little candelabras and chandeliers. A coffin, a vampire, a chair, the ravens, happy Halloween. This is like drippy goo. I have the punch too but this is very cute. Uh, gravestones and then here's the fence. I use on that last tag. So if you happen to see these at Michael's, I would highly recommend you pick them up. She has two sets, like I said before. There's this set, and then there's kind of like a kitty Halloween set, which is also really, really cute. So that is my mini album. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. I think it looks so cute. I can't wait to put pictures in it. Um, it'd be a great thing to like take to work and keep at your office because it's small and compact, and it'll set up on your desk. Um, if you need a more in-depth tutorial about how to make this little workbook, I'm going to include a link to Mary at Cards TV because she has a great, great video showing you exactly how to make the base. And then I just kind of changed a little and made it my own. Um, so try this out. It's really easy. It's And then however much you want to put in it is however long it takes you to finish. So I think I took about a week, but I added a whole lot of embellishment to mine. So this will definitely not be the last mini album I make. I can't wait to get a cinch or, or a bind it all and start making bigger ones. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Click the cupcake on the right-hand side of the webpage. And I hope you have a fabulous day. See you later.